Millennials may not like buying homes. Hey, too expensive, too much pain in the neck maintenance. And they may not even like buying cars. Easier just to Uber up. But for some reason, they absolutely love recreational vehicles. Yet these homes on wheels are suddenly very popular, perhaps because they help you travel and feed into the endless pursuit of experiences that can be Instagram. You can rebrand yourself. We've talked to the Red Hot Four Industries about this trend, and tonight I want to sit down with the other publicly traded company whose name is certainly synonymous with RVs, and that's Winnebago, WGO for all you home gamers. You know this one. Here's a stock that has suddenly caught fire. It is up more than 40% year to date, thanks in part to Winnebago's acquisition of Grand Design. That's a big maker of towable RVs for $500 million in cash and stock last November. It's been a real boon for the numbers, as we found out today when Winnebago reported company has posted a terrific nine-cent earnings beat off a 70-cent basis. That's pretty amazing. Higher than expected revenue up nearly 73% year over year. Over year. Dramatically expanded gross margins, too. On top of that, management authorized a $70 million buyback. This is not a big company. That accounts for roughly 5% of the market cap. That's caused the stock to jump more than 3% today. So can it keep roaring? Let's check in with Michael Happy. I'm so excited to have him on the show. He's the president and CEO of Winnebago. We'll learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Happy, welcome to Mad Money. Good to be with you today, Jim. Sir, something is happening in your world, as I know, because my daughter is literally on a two-month camping trip now doing what you, doing what you do. <laughs> there is a sea change in this country where you have got a business where there is too much demand. And I see you opening plants. I saw that Junction City in uh, Oregon where my daughter lives. I mean, you literally have more business than you can handle right now, don't you? Well, the industry is certainly enjoying some good times right now, and uh, our company is on its own uh, high growth track. So, uh, yes, we are very busy right now uh, expanding our capacity to be able to handle what we uh, believe will be some further increased demand in the future. Now, we often call mad money. We say that there are cyclical situations where in good times people buy things, but in bad times they don't. And then there's such a thing as secular growth. I always felt that Winnebago was way too, way too cyclical. But, sir, it seems like because of Instagram and Facebook and the need to have experiences because you don't want to just buy material things, but you want to go do things, that Winnebago has become a secular growth stock. Do you think that is a, a too optimistic view of your company or just dead right? No, I think we'll embrace that. I mean, as you mentioned in your opening comments, Winnebago has been synonymous with the RV lifestyle throughout its history, one of the early pioneers, uh, certainly in the category. But what we're seeing today is really this, uh, this race for people to get outdoors and create memories and create experiences. They want to be together with family and friends. Uh, and there's very few better ways to do that than uh, being in an RV and being able to uh, see the country and, and be with the people you love and like. And, and so our lifestyle and certainly the Winnebago and Grand Design products enable those experiences. I want to talk about this Grand Design. This is one of the most remarkable acquisitions I've seen. I mean, this was about as instant payoff as is possible in business. Towables, what's so different? Why are these so loved and why are these in such demand? Well, towables is certainly uh, generically as a category been very strong, but uh, this Grand Design brand that we were so fortunate to acquire last November uh, has just hit it out of the park with their performance recently. And, and really, you have a combination of industry talent, uh, passion around building uh, great products. Uh, their dealer model is uh, very exclusive and strategic. They pick the very best dealers and give them market exclusivity so that there's, there's less competition for those dealers. They can make money. Uh, they provide a high level of product service, uh, great quality uh, uh, in the products as well. Uh, and they're just very innovative, and they're fast, and they're nimble, and, and we're just so glad that they've uh, joined the Winnebago Industries family. So if I were to uh, buy one of these, I would have all of the kind of great gadgets that the younger people love to have. I'd be able to do my iPod and my iPad and be able to be and watch TV and do all that stuff? Well, I tell you what, uh, some, some recent research said that almost 80% of people who are in the RV lifestyle, they want to remain connected while they're on the road. So uh, you absolutely uh, can remain connected uh, through many of the new technologies that you'll find in, in our RVs across both of our brands. And, and, and you know, people want to get off the grid, Jim, but yes. they really want to remain connected. They do want to send those panoramic pictures on their Snapchats or Instagrams. Uh, they want to share their experiences with people. And so uh, uh, we are trying to place technology into the, the coaches, the trailers, the fifth wheelers that enable people to, to do that. Not only are you an iconic uh, brand, iconic company, 
but you are putting up factories in this country. You are hiring. Tell us about that. Tell us about that great American story. Well, I tell you what, right now we have three current expansion projects going on. We've got uh, one out in Junction City, Oregon, a, a new plant that uh, uh, really we took over from a dormant competitor and we've refreshed it. We're starting to build some big, beautiful diesel coaches in that plant underneath the Winnebago brand. But then you go out to Indiana, which is really the, the capital of the RV industry in some regards, and we've got uh, two new projects going on there, uh, more than $20 million in capital that uh, we're investing currently to expand and capacity for both the grand design business, but also Winnebago Towables. So, uh, you know, adding more uh, people to our team, putting great Americans to work. And, and I think people are excited about our future, and we're, we're really having good luck finding people in what is still a very tight labor market. Well, they should be excited. I know in your conference call you did talk about some of those supply issues, but you're obviously solving them, you're or your gross margins wouldn't be going higher. You're delighted to have on the show, sir. Michael Happy is the president and CEO of Winnebago. Congratulations on a fantastic ascent for this stock. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you, Jim. Well, I like this one. I like Thor, too. What can I say? It's experiential, and it makes you money. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.